How's it going everyone? Gaz here and today I'm going to be showing you this really cool ink bleed effect in Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you a few different ways you can do it so you can find the way to do it that fits your style perfectly. So let's get straight into this. So this is the graphic that I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect on today, but you can do this with anything that you like as long as it's a shape or a text layer, this doesn't work with images. So what you're going to do if for this easiest one, you're going to double click the layer that you want to add an ink bleed to, and you're going to look at the blending modes and find outer glow. And right now, I already have the settings for ink bleed in saved in my outer glow. But what you're going to want to do is make sure that the noise is slightly up so it looks a little bit jagged. And then you're going to want to make sure that the spread is whatever looks best for your graphic. For this, I feel like 66% looks pretty good. And then you can just adjust the size a little bit to make it have a bigger ink bleed effect or a smaller ink bleed effect depending on what you want to use it for and I think that just adding a little bit like this on three pixels for this document looks pretty good and then as with all these ink bleeds I'm going to just throw in a quick copy scan texture that I got from black market which I really recommend them for assets and I'm just going to put it on screen so now you can see in this first simple ink bleed effect it's now got this grainy texture all over it and it looks like it's bled out onto the canvas. So that is the easiest way of doing the ink bleed effect however I'm now going to go into a few of the more complicated ways that can add a different effect and a different style of ink bleed. Okay, so this next ink bleed effect is actually my favorite and I use it from time to time in my designs. Uh, it's very easy to do, however, it has a very unique feeling to it. So what you're going to want to do is go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Field Blur. This is going to add a point blur system into your document and it's going to put one right in the middle that I want to always keep at zero. Now, whenever you click it's going to add more points. As you can see, that now it's got blurred around the edges, however this middle point is still not blurred. You can then go into these points and move them around and change the amount of blur that you would like on the document. And the amount of blur will be where the ink is seeping out. So right here there's going to be a lot of ink seeping out since it's blurry. And over here there will be a lot too, maybe a little bit too much, so we're going to just turn it down a little bit. And then I'm going to add a few more points just to take the blur out of certain areas that doesn't need to have any ink. So we're just going to keep it around the edges this time. And once you've done this, you can click OK here at the top. And as you'll see, it's added a blur around the edges. Now what you're going to want to do is go to this half circle down here at the bottom and click threshold. And as you can see it sort of vectorized this and you can now change this bar to dependent on how much ink you want it to bleed. So if I want this to be a very like thick ink bleed I can push it all the way to the side and as you can see right here this has got a lot of uh, ink that's bled through onto the canvas however I think the best option here will probably be around about that and now after you've done that just select this uh, black market copy scan that we had from earlier and as you can see it's added the grit textures on top so that's how you do my favorite ink bleed effect but I'm going to show you just a few more ways you can do this um, but this is definitely my favorite so very similar to the last effect, what you can do instead of using field blur is you can use iris blur. So this is a similar concept, but instead of having multiple points, it's going to be an oval or an iris shape. And you're going to do the same thing, position it to how you want it, and then you can change the blur option to be as much as you would like and it's not going to blur the inside it's just going to blur like the outer edges of this uh, oval shape so if we keep it to around about seven here we can then click ok 
Go back to this half circle at the bottom of your screen and click threshold. And now you can mess around again so you can have this ink bleed effect where it's seeping the ink inwards, which means that you're not getting a complete print. Or you can go and do it so it's further out and now you've got this really cool ink bleed effect around the edges. And this works really, really well on text, especially this font. This font is new has grotesque. You can get this font from Adobe Fonts. It is free to use if you have a Adobe subscription. The final ink bleed effect that I'm going to show you is the very basic ink bleed that you'll see probably on TikTok or anywhere else. And it's just using a Gaussian blur. So all you have to do is add a slight Gaussian blur. Uh, I recommend three pixels and then you're going to go back over to threshold and then you're going to move this slider around again. This is going to add an ink bleed to all of the text instead of just points like the previous. So it really depends on the style that you're going for. If you want a whole document to be uh, to have this ink bleed effect, then this is probably the best way to do it. So you just have to move the slider and you can get a very thick ink bleed like this. Or you can get a very thin ink bleed where it takes some of the where it takes some of the details out. But I think for this, we're gonna keep it around about 168, and I think that looks good. And as with all of them, you can add a copy scan texture, which will then add this grain to it, which makes it look more more like an ink bleed. And on top of that, if you have any paper textures, let me throw one of these in. What you can do is you can put this on top and you can scroll through the blending mode options and I really like uh, Exclusion. Exclusion makes a really cool effect with this rippled paper. And you can put that underneath the copy scan to add more grain to all of it or you can put it above so that it only adds the grain to the text. So if you found this tutorial helpful and you're going to be using this in your projects, Make sure to let me know in the comments. Your support is always appreciated. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.